Morning, everybody. So, it's Trinity Sunday. I have the impossible task of explaining something that I don't even quite understand. But do we really have to understand something to believe in it, to trust it, and use it? So what I got here, I got my cell phone. You're a smart girl. How does this work? Well, we could go a little ways. We could say... There's a signal that goes out from my cell phone and it goes to a satellite somewhere and it goes to another satellite and it comes down and hits a bunch of different places. Let's say I wanted to call my brother who's up in Oscoda. How's that happen? How can it find him? I mean, he's out in the middle of the boonies. Last time I went up there, I was lost for an hour. I couldn't even find him. I don't have to know how this works to use it, do I? No. I just turn it on, I press a button, and it does it for me. I trust that it does what it says it's going to do. Same thing with the TV. You guys watch TV? How's it work? Yeah, well, the remote, but how does the remote work? There's no wires that go from the remote to the TV. You press it, and just something happens. I don't know, it's crazy. You turn the TV on, and and a a signal that comes from far away, it appears on your screen. And how do those pictures appear? So clear. I mean, there's some people here that know science could explain a little bit, but for most of us, we don't know how the TV works. We sure use it, don't we? We turn it on, and when we we press that button, something's going to happen. Yeah. How about your eyes? How is it that your eyes see things? I read somewhere that actually what our eyes see is upside down. And our brain turns it right side up and processes all those images and all those colors. So that when I see her pants, I see black. And when I see your outfit, I see pink. But how does that happen? It's a mystery of God that I don't know. Yet I look at things and I know I see things and I trust them. So we've got this thing called the Trinity. That's how God has expressed who he is. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it's been described like this. And this is not perfect because things of God, well, there is no perfect illustration of them in this world. This is pastor's head, right? This is pastor's arm. Pastor's head is not pastor's arm, but they're all part of pastor. God the Father, God the Son. God the Father is not God the Son. God the Son is not God the Father, yet all together they are a part of God. My arm is not my leg. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God the Son is not God the Holy Spirit, but together they are all part of God. That's the mystery of the Trinity. Still doesn't go very far to explain it, does it? There's three separate people, yet we call it one God because that's how he expresses himself. But just like with the TV and the cell phone, we don't have to understand exactly how it works to believe it. And we don't have to understand exactly who God is to know that he works for us. We call God the Trinity, which means three, three in one. You know how the Trinity feels about each one of you? Do you think one member of the Trinity loves you more than another? You think? No. They were all involved in the greatest act for love for you. God the Father gave you life. That's why you're here. God the Son came down and went to the cross to save you, to save your life from going and spending an eternity in hell because of your sin. And God the Holy Spirit came to you in your baptism to bring you that faith that gives you eternal life. All three of them at work in your life. All to save you and make you precious children of God. And all love you very, very much. That's awesome, isn't it? So we're going to pray. And a lot of times we pray just to God the Father. Sometimes we pray to the Son. But today, because it's Trinity Sunday, we're going to pray to the Trinity. Okay? So repeat after me. Dear God the Father, Dear God the Son, 
Dear God, the Holy Spirit, thank you for all the work you've done for me, giving me life, saving me from death, and granting me eternal life. Help me to always believe in you as you have shown yourself to be. It's in the name of the triune God that we pray. Amen. Thank you guys very much for listening. You can go back to your seats, or I believe Miss Chrissy would take you back for Children's Church if you'd like.